Very often when you're working with people, whether it's in prison or you're offering hope in a ministry of any kind, persistence is a vital quality. Persistence in the love and care that we offer. We live in a world where we expect swift answers, um, not unlike the quiz shows. You've got to get it in before that buzzer goes. That's not how it is when we share in our prayers. Uh, very often things take a time, like was shared by Gilliam before. It's not instantaneous. It's often sowing seeds and seeing how those seeds come to fruition. Let me read to you from Luke 18 and reading verses 1 through to 8, the parable of the persistent widow. Then Jesus told his disciples a parable to show them that they should always pray and not give up. He said, in a certain town there was a judge who neither feared God nor cared what people thought. And there was a widow in that town who kept coming to him with the plea, grant me justice against my adversary. For some time he refused. But finally he said to himself, even though I don't fear God or care what people think, yet because this widow keeps bothering me, I'll see that she gets justice so that she won't eventually come and attack me. And the Lord said, listen to what the unjust judge says. And will not God bring about justice for his chosen ones who cry out to him day and night? Will he keep putting them off? I tell you, he will see that they get justice and quickly. However, when the Son of Man comes, will he find faith on the earth? Now, Jesus often prayed through the night and away from other people. For example, Gethsemane, three times asking for the necessity of the cross to be taken from him. I noticed that Luke prefaces the parable of the dishonest judge with some very interesting words. It's often the, the word that introduces the, the, the teaching or the parable or the, the example that is the most pertinent in understanding things. Then Jesus told this, his disciples a parable to show that they should always pray and not give up. This is a pattern of how prayer must be. It's a pattern of how we live life, actually, isn't it? We don't give up. But it's certainly a pattern when it comes to prayer. There are no easy answers and we become, a, 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 if you like, a response to the very prayer we're offering by our attitude and our willingness to be persistent. Persistence happens within relationships. How many times uh, do you have someone and you really want to build a bridge, but you've got to keep at it because you've got to get to know that person, not give up on them so easily. So you've got to be persistent. It's something that happens within our human relationships. It happens within families in a very real way. God is not like the judge, but we're surely called to emulate the widow. It'd be so easy, wouldn't it, to, to hear these words, oh, well, God's like the judge. Well, no, God is not like the judge. There, there are senses in which uh, the, the, the judge responds and we, we point to him as an example, but it's the widow that we're called to observe, the one who did not give up, the one that we're called to emulate in our own spirituality, in our own living. When, when the teams from uh, the, the group that we've, we've spoken to about today, when they go into prison, Kairos ministry is actually not about giving up, it's listening, talking, sharing in a large group of people and wanting to know that the, the Christian faith is as much about that willingness to keep at things as anything else. Jesus is certainly not like the widow in not giving up in prayer uh, in a direct sense, but what we get is an example of what happens in the same way that, that he doesn't give up on us, in the same way that the widow doesn't give up in her prayer, so something happens. And when those two things happen, persistence and a willingness to respond, so things are different. I don't know if you struggle with your prayers at times and you wonder just how you can handle that prayer. You've been praying for something and maybe God has a word for you this morning to say, don't give up, keep at it. Because only as you keep at it will you discover that way, that answer, that purpose that he has for you. And you can be certain that the patience and the persistence is not only on the side of the, the person asking the prayer, the persistence is often in the side of a God who goes alongside us, reminds us of how things could be and brings about his healing grace in our lives. And so in this story, 
we, we have this, this picture of somebody who has a real need and says uh, that they want really a, a, an answer to that need. It says that, that, that he will, I tell you, he will see that they get justice and quickly. Gosh, what a promise really uh, of what God is like. And then there's this question at the end, which can feel a bit out of place, but it's not. At the end it says, however, when the Son of Man comes, will he find faith on the earth? Will we be persistent? When he looks at our lives, when he looks at what we do and who we are and what we are, will he find those qualities in our lives? Will we be a people that persist and don't give up in prayer and in life? <laughs>